Alright guys, Shabify here. Welcome back to a part of my GD script tutorial series. So today we're going to talk about annotations. And an annotation is just a way of exporting values. So you could edit directly from the editor. So for example, let's first use the add symbol. So all of these here are annotations. So we're going to go with the most basic export. And we could say var. Then could say number here. And set it to zero. So now when you save, you could go here and you have that number available right here for you to change. And this gets saved to the actual scene. So for example, let's set it to be five here, save. And if we open up this node here, this is the same scene we're working with. Open it up with a editor, external program. There you go. And it sets that number to five. So this is just what the scene looks like, what the uh, Godot recognizes. You could see it's using a script. And that's the note, the script we're using for the tutorial. And we're also setting formats. And that's what we're doing here. All right. So moving on, you could cast these values. So for example, if you want to export a vector three, for example, you put vector three here. And now we could save. And now you have three values here to change. If you want it to be a float value, you could cast it to be a float. So for example, let's put dot sign and set it to be 0.0, .0. this sign, there you go, and now we can set it under the value. Now we could also export enums, so let's delete that and then export an enum. So this allows you to create enums right in the beginning. So let's say state 1 and state 2, and we can say var state and save. Now when you export, you could choose between state one and state two. So this value would be either zero or one in that case. All right. Or from this, you could actually export your own enums by the same method before. So let me just quickly make a quick state here. Here I have a quick state that I made. And now you could just put state and then put states here. And save, same as before. But now you have all those values that you have set here. All right. And you also have stuff like color. This creates a uh, drop down color list for you to select from. A few stuff you could do with that. You also have a file path, export file, and then say var uh, file. You could get rid of these. Uh, we're not using any parameters. There you go. You could load up a file, maybe icon, and then you'd load it up in this in the script somewhere maybe if you want to put it on a, st um, a sprite for example let's save here let's add a sprite oops sprite 2d find where it is up in the top corner let's move it to the center of the screen now we could grab that sprite and set it to be that image so let's go let's sign sprite 2d that texture so you say equals load file. Save that. And then let's check to make sure this is set. You could run the scene now. And it should work. There you go. And that's how you'd use the file part. There's a few others you could play around with and see what you want to get used to. So for example, you have categories here. And this is just for separating stuff. You say numbers. And maybe have a few numbers here. So let's export a string right here. And then numbers maybe have export for another number. So what this does is split it. So let's get rid of this. Save again. There you go. So it's a cat it's like separation. So if you have a lot of exports, you can use that to categorize your stuff in a drop in the list. And that should be it. You also have onready, which I kind of forgot about. But so onready, this allows you to do pretty much what you would do in the onready function. Maybe you get a node. That's this is what most people do with it to get a node. So for up for node, or say sprite for example, and let's get a sprite. So sprite. So it does allow you to call this function when 
whenever the the scene is actually fully loaded and that should be it all right guys thanks for watching uh like and subscribe and have a good one